Creating a custom theme is a great way to get exactly what you want for formatting and have consistency throughout the applications. Let me show you by starting in Excel. In Excel, this is simply an example, obviously not a spreadsheet you would probably use in the business world, but in my business world it's perfect because what I have is text that has had color applied to it, so the color has been applied and there's a shape included and then the shape has a formatting applied and the formatting was used from the format gallery here. Okay, so what happens then when I apply themes? In Excel, you have to go to Page Layout, and here are some pre-created themes. These are themes that Microsoft created. And so you can see it's automatically changing font, it's automatically changing size, and it's changing the color and the look of that star. Those are pre-created themes. But at the top, here are custom themes that I created. So here's a custom theme that, theme that was created called Class Example. Here's another one. It's another class example with multiple masters. Here's another one. But you can see that what I've done is I've created a look that can be consistently applied throughout the various applications. Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook. So now what I want to show you in Outlook is how are these created? and then utilized in the other application. So let's minimize, well actually let's just leave that open and let's go over to Outlook. I have a setup for you. First of all, the font. When we select the font, what I want to do here is go to Format Font and if you choose Automatic, Automatic will not necessarily adjust with all of the different choices. You have to put a color on the font and when a color is placed on the font then it's very possible that the font is going to change colors and I'll explain why in just a moment. So let's put on this dark teal. And then the shape. With the shape I want to go out and format the shape and I want to drop down the format gallery here and I'll just leave this option but I simply want you to see that a format has been applied which includes an effect and it includes a color for that object. And so now when we go into options and we get into options and we see themes, here are the same themes. Now it changes differently than it did in Excel only because I have a different look on the screen here. I chose different colors, I chose a different format for the background, but it's still going to the exact same color schemes of what I had before. And so class example, there's an exact match because I use the exact same color schemes. Now wouldn't you agree that if I make this choice then I need to work on my spacing I'd have to adjust this just a little bit. So if you do change a theme you might have to make a few little adjustments in your message. But here's the benefit. If I use this particular theme, this theme that I created, then it's called Class Example Cool Graphic. If I use this in Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook for a project that I'm working on, all of my items will look the same, all my fonts will match, and I'll have consistency throughout a project. And that's the benefit of using themes. Well now let's talk about how you can actually benefit from formatting your own theme. So let's talk about color. When I drop down colors, and by the way I'm on the options tab, and on the options tab the first group on the ribbon is themes. So drop down colors. These are created, these are custom colors that I have created, and so you may or may not notice that the font is changing, the, um, the font is kind of a skinny little font, it's a little bit hard to see that, but you definitely can see that our frame is changing. So the frame is making a change, but would you notice that it's just the color of the frame that's changing, the look of the frame is not changing? That's because that's the effect, and we're going to change that in just a little bit. But what if you want your own color scheme? Well, let me back up for just a moment. Let's go to Format Text. Let me highlight the text. And on Format Text, these are the colors in here that you can utilize for the color scheme. See, the first one is kind of this gray color, and then you have this black, and all of these colors across here. Well, look what happens when I go back to Options. Look what happens when I go back to Colors, and I say I want to customize the colors. These colors here, they're just in a different order. They're the same order, they're just a different view. This goes down instead of across, but there's the first color. So I can change this. I can make this any color of the rainbow. So whatever color I make for that, that's any text and background that uses that very first block of color. I'm just going to change a couple of these. Let's go to yellow for this one. And let's go out here and make this one kind of this reddish color. And you see what I could do then is go through the colors, all of these colors, and change them. And then give this a name. 
Now, I don't really love these colors, but I want to stop there because I could spend all day changing colors. So now what I have is my custom item that I created. This one's class example, and here's the one that I just did called class example outlook. This custom color scheme is now available in Word, Excel, PowerPoint, all of the applications because it's stored with your Microsoft products. So that's how I could change the colors. And then whatever color I choose, for instance, class example right now, could be applied to the custom theme. Changing the fonts is the same. You have some pre-created items here that are custom that I've already created. So here's one that looks a bit better. Again, you'd have to rearrange the shape, but that's okay. Or you can go out and you can create your own. You can choose customized fonts. And when you choose customized fonts, you simply choose the heading font, whatever you want for the heading font. And then you choose the body font, whatever it is you want for the body font. And on mine, I'm just choosing things that show up clearly and easily. But it doesn't mean that it's something that you would really want to use in your real world. I was looking for impact. There it is. So I have two fonts that are clearly visible. And what do I want to call this? Um, bold. <laughs> we'll call this bold fonts bold fonts and then we'll choose save and you can see it again dramatically affects our look here and then speaking of effects let's go out to effects and this is where you can change the entire look just by changing the effect of that box and the color you could go back in and change the color if you'd like to but you can see that the effects give you a very very different look than what I first had and each one of these gives it a different vibe and a different feel for whatever it is you're creating let's go ahead and choose this one because it's really obvious that it's different okay I don't love this color right here so what is it that I would do I would simply go back to format text and I would change the color because I have all of these colors now to choose from that are available for me in my theme and I love this theme so now I want to save this theme how do I do that I go to options I've customized my colors my fonts and my effects although folks you do not have to customize everything this is just if you'd like to and then you drop down themes and you say save current theme save current theme and I'm gonna call this we just made this we just made this look where it's saved it's saved in your templates folder and that's why it's available for all of your Microsoft applications because this is a global location for Microsoft products and I'll click save so now I've created this new theme and let's go back over to Excel and now in Excel when I go to page layout and I drop down themes here's my new theme we just made this and when I click on this one, now it has that theme applied. If I go into format and I choose the exact same item that I had from the other theme, ooh, those might be a little crazy, huh? That's because of where I placed the yellow color. But you get the idea. We have consistency now throughout the applications. Except, you know what? I'm deciding that's really not a great theme and it needs a lot of help. And so what I'm going to do is go back over to this message. I'm going to change the theme to something that I like a bit better. I like this theme a bit better. And look how I can delete a theme that I used and I just don't need it anymore or I don't like it. You rest your mouse on the theme. You right click on the theme and you simply say delete. Delete it? Yes, delete it. That just that needed a lot more help than what I had time to give it. So now you see that it's quite easy to customize. You can customize individually the colors, the fonts, the effects, or you can choose something that's already in existence, like on the effects, and then put them all together, save a new theme, and that way you can be consistently consistent throughout all of your emails. So you might just be using this within Outlook so your emails are sent consistently, or you can use it throughout the Microsoft applications because it is stored in your templates folder.